conveyed that information about the McDonald's uh, up to um, to whom in the in the uh, triangle? I'm sorry. To whom did you then convey the information about the McDonald's? You uh, said you passed yes, it up. To, to the entire command team and the CIC. Uh, everybody's right there, just outside the room. And I said, you know, do we are we aware that there's a uh, um, some victims that are at the hospital? And it was news to everybody right then. So, um, so staff Halliday appeared surprised upon hearing that. Staff Holiday was a surprise. Uh, Staff West was surprised. Staff Carroll was surprised. Okay. Okay. And that was at three thirty. Give or take, yes. Right. Okay. Okay. Those are my questions. Thanks very much. No problem. Thank you, Staff Sergeant. I just have one question flowing from the answer you gave to uh, Ms. McPhee. <clears throat> and did I understand you correctly to say that? Uh, as a recommendation uh, for us that, uh, that you, you recognize the fact that police officers today um, are uh, asked to do things that they aren't best equipped to do or, or not necessarily should have to do. Did I understand that? I don't know if I'm allowed to make a recommendation to you or not, but um, in, my, in my opinion, um, the time there's only so many hours in a day, only so many hours in a shift right. for a police officer, and we're spending it on far too many things that are outside the, our, our, man, our mandate. It's not law enforcement, you know, where it's public safety, and, you know, they're locked, we're locked away in offices doing reports and uh, a judicial system um, where we're asked to provide so many things, not just disclosure, but so many things. Uh, COVID checks, VIN verifications, so many files, calls for service that really, they don't need to go to a police officer. They can go, there should be another mechanism to handle it. Are you including mental health checks there as well? So mental health, um, if I could, if, uh, if someone could say to more that I didn't have to have any of my officers go to mental health, I think I'd give up two positions. So that's like, I know there's a certain time where mental health and public safety intersect. But for the most part, you know, the 10, 12% of our call volume that we deal with mental health, um, there must be another way to deal with that. And the other thing you've identified, which I did not pick up the first time, is administration. Is that yeah. Right? Okay, thank you. Um, those are the only questions I had. Um, but I do want to uh, thank you so much.